Hey, how is everybody doing? This welcome to another thing of Adam's on Radio. I gotta turn my short wave down. Uh, talk about this COVID crap and this crap and fake uh, Biden's fake warehouse and all this other stuff. And um, I'm making this video because uh, something happened to my comments. Uh, there's a few gentlemen out there reaching out to me. I got a few of them, and I did compliment. Uh, I'm not ignoring anybody. There's something. There's a glitch. There's a glitch in YouTube or something. I had a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, jeez. There's a help thing on there, and I there's a, a fixing thing. So I pressed that. I wrote them a letter saying, you know, I, you know, I I am a uh, a YouTuber, and I am not getting any of my comments. I got like two out of George Sebastian, Josie Sebastian. And there was a few other ones that I knew they were telling me to go on um, on the internet. Internet on the interwebbies said to me to go to Eham or something like that. And my my uh, my hunch was correct. So when you take the thing out, you take the ribbon cable out, you take the two coax connectors that connect to it, you unplug that from the filter board. And I assume there's a few screws that holds the um, the antenna tuner in 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 the radio, and it just pulls right out, I guess. And you put it down, you take the cover off, and there's two two worm gears inside. I guess that's for the butterflies. And there's two motors in there, and I guess you gotta put some kind of like um, uh, silicone oil. That's yeah, silicone. Uh, or sewing machine oil, which I, I add in the description in one of my videos here. And, uh, and I needed help. Of course, you know, YouTube screwed me out of my uh, comments. Comments. I don't know why. Why? Why? You know, I, I'm trying to grow my channel, you know. And then if someone has a pointer on that one also, a Q&A, let me know on the, on the comments below because it's really starting to really aggravate the hell out of me. I'm not ignoring no, none, none of you out there. It's just I'm having trouble with the YouTube. I don't know what, why. I, I only got two messages out of four. I think something like that. Out of four. Because I was at the doctor's office at the cancer center and then I was reading my phone before I had to go in. And I had four, or eleven messages, and I only got two out of the, out of whatever. So I kind of, kind of, kind of ticked me off. You know, just uh, it makes a grown man pee on. Okay, I mean, it, it, we're human, right? Right. Okay. But uh, anyhow. That's one thing I wanted to cover is, uh, like I said, like uh, like I said, everybody sees my channel, and one feller told me, fella, um, says uh, you're the number one source on your channel to keep growing. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, exactly. Uh, where's my? Okay, that's a better better angle. Uh, Yeah, so I'm trying to do that, and it seems like YouTube don't like my content or something like that. Or so let's try to have. Well, one thing I could tell you out there, listen to this. One thing I did delete. Somebody put some. Somebody hacked into my account and they put this pornographic garbage. There was a URL something, and I opened it. And I couldn't believe what I've seen. This was going back maybe a month ago. I deleted two of those. And just from deleting that, and I can't get my messages. I don't know if you all had that. I see. I don't know if you guys get that URL or whatever heck it is on there. Be careful not to open those. Just leave it on there. If someone's... I, reason why I took it off is because I don't want anybody thinking I'm weird or you know what I'm saying but I this is 
a family channel, and it's not an adult channel. It's for all ages, adults, old people, young people, whatever. Any, any, whatever. You know what? You get, you get, you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, so I'm working on getting this channel, you know, up and running the way it should be. Nope. It's not. But, uh, I, uh, Today, I, I, I really did a good good one. Just smashed something heavy on my Vans. My van sneakers are the checkered ones, the checkerboard ones or whatever. And I just nailed my foot on something. Good thing I had them on. If I didn't have them on, my toe would have been crushed. Thank goodness, God gracious. Uh, anyhow, uh, back to the uh, YouTube thing. I don't know. Um, I, I I posted a, a video about the TS four thirty S the tuner, and then there goes my freaking bird now. Will you shut up. Go to bed. Can I make a video, please? Shut the hell up. Anyhow, so I was making the video, and I I wanted to help. You know, Q and A. You know, you know what's the deal? But my hunch was correct. You got to just take it out, then you got to take the top off. And there's one thing I know: you got to take the two, the both motors out, and hopefully it's not blown. But the light does come on. Now I, I could this radio's got the Mars cap done onto it, so it has 60 meters. I put it on this frequency of 48 to uh, 400, and it's kind of like goes in a tuning mode, but I don't smell nothing burning, but I think the motors are stuck. I think that's what it is. Then once it's stuck, it goes into a thing and it starts beeping. did it did it did it did it did it So, I figured I thought I'd uh, tell you what's going on with that, uh, with, with the tuner and tuner. Internal antenna tuner, which I do this because some hams don't like tuners. Oh, I just set it on at one Pacific frequency, and uh, all I gotta do is turn my amp on, turn my radio on, it's all tuned up. Me, I don't care. I don't mind. It's like a lady. I'm, a, I'm keeping this clean. I like to twist knobs and stuff like that. You get the feel of the radio. Just like you caressing a lady's hair, you know, like really nicely, you know, gentle and anyways, ah, anyways, you have more control of your radio. You have, I have the tuner, which makes that radio happy. Then you tune your amplifier. Once everything's tuned up, then you then you tune your amplifier. And once you get the dip and load and plate all all straightened out, then you go to your exciter with your radios. Put the, just put the right amount of watts into the amp. Then you get your power and check your your, your tuning and all that. And other people are saying, oh no 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 no. Just get it. One antenna does everything. You still gotta freaking use a tuner. What is wrong with tuners? Oh well, you know I I can only run. I, I, there's operators that operate on one band. I don't. I go on multiple bands in HF. 10 meters, 17 meters, 20 meters, which, eh, uh, 80 meters, uh, 160 meters, 40 meters. I'm sure you guys all heard me out there uh, November 1, Sierra Charlie Alpha is my call sign. And I love, I love being on 40 meters, you know. Yeah, granted, I have it set where I have it set, but still, once in a while, you got to tickle the little vernier dial and turn the crank on the old little the uh, inductance uh, roller once in a while. You get a little and a little bit on the uh, vernier dial for the uh, tune. I don't have a problem with that. I, re I really don't. Some people do, and some people, you know, oh, you know, they're going to bitch me up and down about... Well, tuners. I think they're I think they're a handy tool to have. I mean, 
I got the full link G5 RV. I'm sure, I don't know if I told everybody on the channel or yet, but I, got, I just got it for a deal. I couldn't refuse. I really didn't want to have one, but for the right price, I got it for 30 bucks. The ladder line plus an extra 100 feet of ladder line. I mean, what? that's a deal and a half. I mean, you, you can't complain, ladies and gentlemen. Right? Right. But anyways, just let me all know what you're all guys up to. Uh, try writing some more comments on the bleep blue. I did a bit of a radio log in the bottom there. Hit the dang bell, all, because I'm do, planning on doing a lot of videos on this channel right right here. Right, right here, is it? Somewhere right around here. Yeah. Boop. Yeah. But, so that's the story of that. And uh, another thing was funny. There was a, there, I was just listening to Shortwave. I just finished the, the, the download. They were actually broadcasting H, HTC uh, trading company on Paris Avenue. I forgot what it is. I wouldn't deal with them guys. I, they sell nothing but junk. I'm sorry. I don't want to call bad call outs, but I would never, never do business with them. Uh, my favorite companies is number one. HRO is my favorite company. And now I want to visit the one. There's one in Florida, Winter Haven. And I think it's Winter Haven, something like that, or Orlando, or I, I can't remember. I think it's from the old, no, 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 the old AES building. It's on Conolial, Conol, Conolial, Conolial, Conolial Drive. And I saw the picture of it. Somebody went in there already. I think uh, Radio Concepts went in there already. But I like to check it out myself and make a video for myself and see my eye point of view on the video. No, probably not. Because they already beat me to it, so I don't care. I'll do it anyways. If I if I ever get a chance to go there, I, I have no wheels at the moment. Ah, oh, let's see. I have another thing to pick at. It's so goofy. They, I don't know if you all noticed, but they're they're treating ham radio like a a two dollar uh, hooker on the side of a Cherry Street Avenue. Did anybody ever notice that? I mean, like the ads for ham radio, you know, they're all sitting there biting their hands, oh, 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 they got their glasses on, oh, oh, oh. and one guy is like, oh, oh my god, oh, oh. Can anybody be serious? This is, this is like your, your federal communications license. You know, they're like biting their hands, and they're not well groomed, they're all beat up looking. And, uh, but anyways, I like AES, and I wish they could sponsor me, because I would do it. I would promote some of their stuff on my page in a heartbeat. <clears throat> Anything. Another, second one I like is DX Engineering. They're pretty good. I, I dealt with them here and there, and I thought they were like a, a trading company, but they're not. The trading company there, they're on eBay, and they sell nothing but crap. Junk. Junk used radios. I go to these guys right here. I think it's right there. DX. I think it's DX Engineering. But it seems like, like I said, they're trading ham radio, all these advertisements and stuff. I take mine more seriously. But uh, they treat it like if it, it was a $2 hooker on Cherry Street. Anyways. Um, I don't. You know, everybody's—they're just like acting like they're like they're they're in love with with something. Me, I love my radios, but I'm not in love with them. Biting their hands and oh my god, oh! I don't, I don't care. You all think out there, you think I'm crazy, but hey, I, I, I need some Adams heads out here. Adam heads, meaning Adam had ra Adams ham radio people. Adam heads, we need some Adam heads out there. Come on, let's go. Let's spark this thing. Let's get this show on the road. 
Oh, I gotta go because my time is up. So, catch y'all later. Seven three. This is Adams Ham Radio.